Oh, that's the, uh, that's the map. This game's fucking sick. See these portals and everything, it's so Mortal Kombat. The magic realm of Outworld, Shao Kahn hungered for power, for strength, for all things dark and arcane. The blood he spilled in his brutal conquest of Outworld is impossible to measure or imagine, as was his hunger. Once all he could see was under his control, Shao Kahn turned his attention to Earth. But the Elder Gods had created a mystical tournament to protect Earth, known as Mortal Kombat. Shao Kahn could only lay claim to Earth if his champions were victorious in the tournament. Thus far, Earth's warriors have triumphed, saving Earth. But some fights only require a lone victory, and all can be lost with a single defeat. You have ensured peace for Earth once again this day. But there is no power in these medals apart from the knowledge you must carry into every battle. That no one is a champion alone. If one of us is in chains, none of us are free. If even one succeeds, the victory is ours. Liu Kang, you have defeated the sorcerer Shang Tsung. You have saved this realm as your forefathers did from his evil. You are Earthrealm's champion and hero. Thank you, Master Raiden. When next the tournament is fought, it will be my ancestors that are honored. Sonya Blade, you were a warrior before the tournament began. But here you have been tested and triumphed against enemies beyond Earth's measure. Thank you, Master Raiden. I know you have your chief officers to report to, but know that you will always have friends here and warriors willing to help you in your future missions. Sir. Johnny Cage. Lay it on me, Raiden. Bow, you idiot. Despite your natural shortcomings, you have proven yourself a valuable ally against Shang Tsung. You have the respect of myself and the Shaolin Order. Master. Ah, Kung Lao. Family honor is not won in a single day. It is won all the days of a life. It is won in fidelity and faithfulness. It is achieved through perseverance. There is not a warrior here that would have survived if you had not warned them of the traps in Goro's lair. I always kind of wondered why, honored. uh... Your friends honor you as well. Trust me, like, Raiden doesn't like Kung Lao that much in this game, or at least that's the impression that they give. And For seeing the as this story is basically... Rest. Enjoy the peace you will find walking Mortal Kombat ground. 9's story as well. Kind of transferred that over into Mortal Kombat 9. Like he, he's no, he's got a problem with Kung Lao. I don't know.
what always got me about the Kung Lao story is, I remember I watched a video back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, it was terribly done when I think about it now, but it was like a Mortal Kombat cartoon. Not the Defenders of the Realm, that was really good. But another one that came out exclusive to videotape. And uh, in it, Kung Lao was in it, and they got killed by Goro. Seemingly like that was like the real Kung Lao. And I've never really explained that since, maybe like... Maybe it's just not canon anymore, you know? Had like Goro's brother in it and stuff like that. So have a look here because there's a lot of shit going on in here. Oh yes, XP. Oh, there's all the other fatalities. So we try that forward, forward, up, up, square. So much stuff from Mortal Kombat 9 was taken from this game, it's unbelievable. Because this game is really, everyone loved it. So it's kind of to be expected that this is what they kind of based the Mortal Kombat 9 on. The statue filled with evil energy blocks your path. You will need the Fist of Ruin ability to break it. That's where Ermacus special hidden fight. Cool shit, man. So much good shit in this game. <laughs> There's a couple of special things you can do here. Must be the middle one that I've missed. Need another dude down here, bro. Never mind, who cares? So you can break that if I got the right one. Oh, more dudes! Let's go! Oh 
thought I'd done something, but never mind. Oh, it's that one. That's the one it is, bro. <laughs> Okay, I might as well go check that out and see what the hell's going on up there. See when you visit places like Outworld in this game, like this this part of the game is not really impressive, but I tell you, I remember just instantly loving this as soon as I got to Outworld, I was like, oh dead! Getting chopped here, getting chopped, dude. Get chopped up! Kung Lao. It's a shame I don't like playing as Kung Lao, like, in the game, but... I'm gonna be playing Air Mac all the way with that hood. It just looks absolutely so cool. Oh, that hurt. Uh, that really hurt, actually. Shit. Such free roaming game. This game's uh, probably about ten times better with cooperative as well. You're playing with a friend. But, you know. If they bring it out online, man, how cool would that be? You could drop in and out. Fuck. Why can they not do that? Is Nether Realm? I mean, or is it Nether Realm? Was this game midway back then? I don't know. No, not again. The thing that's also really sick about it is they're coming in through the front gate. You gotta get round to the back. They kind of treat it like a Mortal Kombat tournament, you know? Um, I need some health. There's a little bit of health there. Um, they kind of do treat it like a Mortal Kombat tournament when you get to Outworld. It's like you have to defeat all these people in order to progress through the main thing by like getting. Uh, you'll see when you when I move on. It's an infinite that actually, but keep them off me while I close the front gate. I'm on it, Johnny. Look, 
got another fatality. Okay, I'll buy some shit. Many chops. Tornado? Razor's Edge. Back, back, up, up, circle. I'll try that. Alright, Ludo, what's going on? If they want me to be cheap, I'll just spam square, you know. What's going on, Ludo, anyway, man? Okay, where do I go now? 